We're here at CES with the first robot sea turtle that I have ever seen in my life, Tertini from Beatbot. Let's see what it can do. They've got it swimming here in a tank at CES and it looks pretty fascinating. This isn't the final design. The battery life on this is only about two hours, but by the time it launches in a few years, they plan on increasing that. To navigate around and observe the environment, it's got a camera both here and underneath, which you can see better in the pool. And this shell is actually gonna have a solar panel on it when it really launches to help recharge the battery and extend its life. Apparently the camera that's built into Tertini here can recognize certain gestures and trigger it to do certain movements. So we're gonna try that out right now. What are you, little fin wave? I love that. This should make it dance. Oh, there you go. We got a little dance. And let's have it shake its head here. Yep, there you go. This whole design is obviously sea turtle inspired so that it can cruise around the ocean without disturbing ocean animals too much. The team said that they spent a couple years studying real sea turtles and how they move to get these fins to move in the right way. The back fins don't move yet, but they say that the final version, they will. They also told me they're considering putting a propeller on the turtle to make it swim a little bit faster. One of the reasons you might want a robot that's inspired by a real ocean creature is because it might be less disruptive to ocean creatures as it cruises around the ocean checking things out. There's all kinds of different sensors they say that could be built into this thing to measure things like ocean temperature, ocean pH, possible contaminants, things like that. It's not diving down underwater here at CES, but they tell me their robot in the lab can dive down to about five meters, and the final Tertini will dive down even deeper than that. They also say that they want Tertini to be able to deploy fast in an emergency or a natural disaster type situation, and because it sort of blends in with its ocean environment, it might be able to access protected marine environments that humans probably shouldn't go to. Our oceans are a huge, critical, and complicated ecosystem, and if we're gonna take care of them, it's really important to know how they're doing around the world. The Beatbot team also told me that a lot of what they've learned from their pool cleaning robots has shown up here in Tertini and vice versa. So as the team is developing anti-corrosive technologies, things like that, they said they could also apply a lot of the lessons they learned developing Tertini back to their pool cleaning robots. To me, this is one of the coolest applications of robotics that I've seen here at CES this year. Given the recent coral bleaching events due to climate change, I think it's more important than ever that we pay attention to our oceans, listen to our oceans, and observe our oceans. And robots like this really make that happen. What do you think of Tertini? Let us know down in the comments. Subscribe for more CES coverage. And as a wise man once said, I like turtles.